Good morning, guys. It's uh, 1.04 p.m. here on Monday. Obviously, I have the day off today and actually Thursday and Friday as well. I went over my schedule yesterday, I think, in the vlog. Um, there's an Audi. I'm headed downtown to meet Taylor. I'm going to get some uh, breakfast at Acme. I had stuff at home. None of it was appealing, and I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to do that. And then uh, we're, Taylor and I are going to work on our uh, English exams. We have the same English class, Classics to Contemporary. Obviously, we're not doing them together. We're just going to be there at the same time. It's different projects, so we can't exactly cheat on it anyways. E38 7 Series, what I talked about a couple days ago. Looks like a 740IL. Hi. <laughs> hey, how are you? Good. My car's dirty. Oh, I know. Mine is too. It sucks. Yeah. It sucks. They're all filthy. Oh, you got a little glacier there? <laughs> Jeez. It's actually not that cold anymore, so now it's starting to melt ice and it's getting to be messy. But Taylor and I got our donuts. You ready to eat some donuts? Freaking right! Alright, so it's like 7.30 and it's been, uh, I think it's been raining. The car looks really wet. But we've been, oh, icy too. We've been working on our exam, right? Having a blast? Oh no. Oh, freaking right we are. And um, we have to write six paragraphs. One about each book that we have read, or piece of literature that we have read uh, this year. Then we have to have two songs that we have, that we can match with the literature and then we have to have two quotes from the song two from the songs two from the work it's a pain in the ass anyways i've got all six paragraphs done taylor you've done what four 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 no. so we're going over to high school to see if we can get in so he can get his book for the last one and, but and by the way these paragraphs we say they're about double spaced and about an entire page long. Yeah, they are just, just under a page long. So like a half a page, single spaced. It's Way ridiculous. Bad, but it's pretty bad. Yeah, so I don't think we're going to be able to get into the high school. He does, we'll see, and we'll let you know. Alright, you can't really see, but he's walking in. I'll let you know if the door opens for him. Uh, he's getting to the door. Almost. And just as I predicted, <laughs> yep, doors are locked. So let's see if my left foot can reach his gas pedal and we'll give him a little sound demo from here. <laughs> he's walking faster. <laughs> Good luck. All right, he's trying the front main doors now and they're not gonna work either. It's a Monday night at 7.41 and as far as I know, there's no basketball games or anything going on here tonight. And of course they always leave doors open for, or um, lights on for security. Yep, and it's locked. So he is just dicked. Because this exam for him is due tomorrow for his period. Mine isn't due until Wednesday, third period. Okay, Taylor, uh, it's about uh, 9.46. How's it coming? Pretty just, good. You're making the cover for yours now. And these are all the papers we have to have for extra credit. And there's your book. And there's my book. And here's my finished project. Uh, this is 1,500 and, what was it, 50 some, 1,554 words and five pages. Four and a half pages. Then here's the CD. I had to Photoshop some stuff for it. And there's the actual disc I had to make. So hopefully that is a good exam grade. All right, it's 10:31. Taylor just left a little bit ago, and it has warmed up considerably. I think it's um, in the 30s now, which you know that's real warm. But uh, it's a lot better than it was before. It rained a little bit this afternoon when we were doing the exam, and uh, took all that ice off the driveway. So that's good news. And as you can see over there, Taylor likes to back up until he hears something crunching, or maybe someone. But, uh, yeah, have to fix that in the spring. And maybe you can, or maybe you can't see now. It almost looks like it's snowing a tiny bit, but I think it's just rain, so whatever. Can't really do much with that. Check this out, though. Driving, uh, I, I, you, well, you know I didn't drive to Michigan, but just the driving I've done since I cleaned these last, just disgusting. The whole thing's filthy, but... Uh, I said to myself that I wasn't going to worry about it much this winter. There's nothing I can do. I can't come out here and wash it when it's 30 degrees. And truthfully, I think I worry about this more than a new car because this, uh, you know, clear coat's old, old on it, and I do not want to start finding rust spots on it in the spring. Um, I don't know that rust is a problem with these. I have seen some E39s that back here, under the BMW badge, and uh, like around the lock, they get rusty, but. Mine's actually perfect in those areas. So that's one stroke of luck I have with the car. I called Dave Walter today, I ordered the thermostat, 
It'll be in on Thursday. I'm having it installed Friday at 9. I have Thursday off. I would have done it Thursday, but uh, my grandfather, he needs to go uh, with me, and he couldn't Thursday because every third Thursday of the month, and I guess this is already the third Thursday of the month, which brings me to my next point. How is this time traveling so quickly? It feels like just a few weeks ago it was um, November, and it's now halfway through January, which is great. Uh, Ohio winters can be done in February, or they could be done in May, like last year. And, you know, we've only had five, well, we've had like 12 inches of snow, but we've never had snow on the ground for more than five days consecutively. So I don't know when this is going to be over, but uh, it can't be soon enough. Yeah, so Friday is the day I'm going to go in there. They said it'll be like a four or five hour job. And the reason it's expensive is because of the labor. The duct work for the air boxes come out and radiator hoses and stuff that I talked to you about before. But uh, if I had the hood open, the thermostat is like right down here. It's behind the fan, uh, the engine fan. At least that's what I read on, I think it was M5 board. There was a tutorial, a tutorial how to do it. Uh, I think I said it yesterday. I could do it myself. I don't want to take the chance of screwing stuff up. Uh, money isn't the issue. It's, it's just, uh, it's a really annoying that I have to keep driving into Akron. But as I said on Twitter last night, I'm fixing five years of problems that aren't major, but five years of problems in a couple weeks. I mean, these things have built up since uh, around 2006 or 2007. So um, I'm the one that gets stuck fixing it. And I'm not really complaining about it. I love the car and it's worth putting money into because I want to have it for a long time. Uh, and it's a future classic car. At least many, many people that are respected in this industry agree that it is. And I hope they're right. Uh, so it's just annoying that I'm doing it all right now, but that is my choice. Meanwhile, this thing with a third the mileage on it, it's about 55,000 or something like that. There's one problem with it right now. Any other problems we've had? <laughs> uh, absolutely nothing. This thing has gone forever with no problems. It's needed oil, gasoline, washer fluid, and uh, one set of tires. This is the second set of tires, and it's like half spent. They're not lasting long. I think they're Goodyear Eagles or Eagle F1s or something like that. Uh, but the one problem we have is the trunk latch right back here. Once every 20 times you shut it, it just springs back up and you have to move a little piece of plastic that's in the latch and then close it again. So she said, my mom, it's her car. Next time she's taking it in to have oil change, she'll tell them about it. It's probably just a broken latch. If it were a BMW, it would cost a grand to fix. Being a Honda, it's just a mechanical latch. So it'll probably be like 30 bucks plus uh, some labor to put it in. So that's not bad at all. But Ken and I have talked and we've tried to come up with the best car in the world all things considered. Reliability, resale value, um, drivability, and, and stuff like that. And I think that it's a Honda Accord. And I'm not saying that because we have one. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan in the world. I don't know if I'd buy one. But you know what? They're very affordable. They're easy to work on. They don't need much maintenance. They're not expensive. They hold their value. What's not to like about it? Really, from a driving aspect, what's not to like about it? My problems are it's not the most luxurious, it's not real fast, it doesn't have much styling, and, and that's why I've got a Money Pit 5 here if you ever wondered what the M stood for. <laughs> but uh, the Honda Accord is, is really a car that is perfect for about anybody that just wants a car to drive and doesn't want to put a lot of money into it and wants to have it for a long time without putting money into it. So Data Zoo, you've, you've got it figured out. You know where it's at, bud. All right, I'm getting cold, and this thermometer is still dicked. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's been between 70 and 80 all winter for the outdoor one. There's a little wire. You can see it there. It goes out the window. Maybe something's on it, but it says it's 80 outside. I know it's not. In the garage, it's about 45 or so, which is uh, about 6 or 7 Celsius. So that's it. I'm going in. I'm studying for my government exam that I have tomorrow. I don't think it's going to be too bad. But tomorrow's great because I only have to be in from 11.15 to 12.45. Then Ken and I are coming home. And I will talk to you tomorrow morning on the way in to take that exam, probably. So sleep tight, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. By the way, just realized today's 400 on the uh, 16th. So thank you very much for 400. That's awesome. Stick around for the next 400.